Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette, and many of you know that my dad and I have been eating a plant-based diet for the past 10 years. And the reason we started doing this and continue to do this is for health reasons. And we started mainly to help my dad manage some of the health problems that he was experiencing. Uh, but we both ended up reaping a lot of health benefits. We lost weight, we lowered our blood pressure and cholesterol, and we just generally feel good. Uh, so that's why we started the channel in the first place was to help share our food ideas and experiences, but also to engage our community to get your ideas and experiences so that we can learn from each other and establish a community of support. So regarding my own adventure, I guess you could call it with a plant-based diet, I started eating this way when I was 40 and I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was experimenting with new foods and just trying to find my way. Then I adopted a starch-based diet like Dr. McDougall recommends and made uh, whole food starches the bulk of my calories. I got plenty of non-starchy vegetables, fruits, and I was also eating other foods like tofu, tempeh, olives, avocados, nuts, and seeds with no processed oils. And that is actually how I easily shed the 70 pounds of the 80 I had gained in my 30s. And it really came off quite effortlessly. When I got down to the, to the 70 pound mark, I wanted to try to shave off those last 10 pounds. And lots of you know out there that, that it becomes more difficult when you get closer to your trim body weight to do that. And you have to make some adjustments in, in your dietary habits and your physical activity. So what I would try to do on and off was the McDougal maximum weight loss where I would then eliminate foods that were made with flour, uh, any dried fruits, and then I also eliminated the high fat stuff like tofu, olives, avocados, nuts, and seeds. And then I would go back to eating my regular plant-based diet. And then I would try Mary McDougal's Mary's Mini, which is even more restrictive. And it's choosing one whole food starch that you eat with your non-starchy veggies and uh, a non-fat dressing or sauce and you do that for seven or ten days or however long you do it uh, with the hope that you're gonna reset your palate get off of any of the processed foods that you might have been eating and maybe jump start some weight loss but that was nothing that was sustainable for me at all so I would go off of that go back to my regular plant-based diet and I continued this way and started to up my physical activity which was then having a beneficial effect. So I was starting to see some physical changes. I was hitting the gym, I was working out a lot. And then the rug got pulled out, I got divorced, the pandemic hit, I gravitated back towards those really comforting, uh, high fat calorie rich foods. And I started to gain weight pretty rapidly. In fact, through this whole divorce and pandemic experience, I gained 27 pounds back. I wasn't really all that unhappy about it. It didn't look bad or anything. It didn't feel bad. I just didn't want to keep going in that direction. Uh, so I put the brakes on, went back to eating my simple plant-based diet, but kept a lot of the high fat stuff in there. Started going for my walks again because the gyms were closed. Uh, and I easily shed 10 pounds. So then it puts me back at, now I'm 17 pounds above where I was after losing all the weight. So what I decided to do at that point, I was 48 years old. I said, I'm gonna try the McDougal maximum weight loss again. So I went very low fat, high carbohydrate, you know, eliminated all the high fat stuff. And I gotta tell you, it was miserable. I did terribly with it this time. And I felt literally like I was losing my mind and that something was seriously missing in my diet. So here I was, I was a different person, 48 years old, right in the middle of perimenopause, things are different in my body. It just wasn't working for me. So then I decided to go back to my roots. And by that, I mean my roots roots. I discovered Dr. Andrew Weil's work when I was in my 20s. And that's really what sparked my interest in nutrition and how it affects the body. So I went back to reading his books. I now loosely follow his anti-inflammatory diet with a focus on those healthy fats, especially the ones that provide omega-3s. Uh, and I have to tell you, I feel so much better. This right now is the thing that seems to be working for me. And despite having, you know, an ample amount really of fat in my diet, and I'm not worried too much about it, I'm still losing weight. And I just generally feel good. My hair is shiny. It's not dry anymore. My nails used to peel when I was on a really low fat diet. Now my nails are healthy and shiny and they grow like weeds. 
my skin is uh, nice and healthy and it's not dried out or breaking out anymore. And people tell me a lot that I look a lot younger than I am, so thank you. Um, I'm gonna be 50 this summer. But overall, I just feel good. So I guess the point of my story here is that it's okay to adapt your plant-based diet according to what your body needs or whatever situation you might be in at any given time. And it's okay to experiment with different things and find what makes you feel your best. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to give you three different meal ideas and then offer some tips that I can think of on how you could maybe adapt these meals depending on what your plant-based diet looks like. Uh, I'm not an expert on any of this. I am not a dietitian. I'm not giving you any, you know, nutritional advice with this. I'm just throwing some tips out based on my own experiences. And that's why I need your help in giving ideas if you see a different way to do something. Okay, so let's start with breakfast. 80% of the time I have a bowl of oatmeal because I love it and there's so many different ways you can dress it up. But if I'm just tired of oatmeal, I'll go over to a whole grain cereal. But that's, like I said, I don't eat that as frequently as I do my oatmeal. With regard to whole grain cereals, I'm not promoting any particular brand. It's just what I grabbed out of my pantry. But I usually throw a couple different kinds together uh, and... Sometimes I make a cereal blend that's a little bit like Rip's Big Bowl. I'll put a card up here for a video I did on that. Uh, but again, I'll top it with soy milk or some other plant-based milk and put my ground flax seeds and my walnuts on top, a little dash of cinnamon, and then I usually top it with some sort of fruit. So my first tip is if I was doing something like the McDougal Maximum Weight Loss where I needed to cut out processed foods as much as possible because I'm really trying to lose that stubborn weight, something like cereal would have been off the table for me because it is more processed. And I think the thought is the more processed a food is, the easier it is to digest and you might absorb more of the calories in that food, which is why most of the people I've talked to who are following a whole foods plant-based diet prefer to stick with foods that are full of fiber and really a little bit more difficult to break down. Now, this has a lot of fiber in it, don't get me wrong, but it is made with more processed ingredients. So that would be your call on that. The other thing is if I was doing the McDougal Maximum Weight Loss, I would have to probably not have the dried fruit and instead stick with a whole natural food like a mashed banana or just the berries in my, uh, in my oatmeal. If you are following a really low-fat plant-based diet, I think that's going to be a judgment call on your part as to whether you include nuts and seeds and things like that in your food. Um, my dad follows something closer to the Esselstyn plan, but he's not perfect with it. He does go off plan. He does eat some higher fat things here and there. Uh, it's very difficult for either one of us to be really perfect with how we eat. So we do the best job that we can. But I do know that my dad includes flax seeds, walnuts, uh, and chia seeds in his foods in small amounts. And I know that he uses a little bit of cashews in his cheese sauce, but that cheese sauce will last him all week long. And I think he uses maybe a quarter cup of cashews. So it's really not that much that he eats. I know that, but he does include that stuff. And like I said, that's a personal choice. So that's how I made my oats this morning. I used the quick cooking steel cut oats, a dash of cinnamon, a tablespoon of chopped dates and a tablespoon of ground flax seed, cooked it according to the package directions, and then I added a quarter cup of soy milk because it needed a little bit of moisture at the end and it made it nice and creamy. And then I topped it with a half of a chopped banana, a tablespoon of walnuts, and about a handful or so of frozen blueberries that I defrosted in the microwave. My opinion on the oats is if you're doing something more along the lines of maximum weight loss, and you're gravitating more towards the least processed oats, I think the rolled and the steel cut are probably gonna be better options for you. But all in all, I think oatmeal is just a really nutritious food overall. And as a whole, I don't think the people here in America eat enough fruits and vegetables or whole grains. So I don't think you can really go wrong with any of them. But uh, some people have uh, expressed that they've had better success eating the oats that are harder to break down than the quicker cooking ones. But this is where I'm curious as to where you guys are on something like this. Like, what would you do differently? What are your ideas? What type of plant-based diet do you follow? And 
understanding that there are people out there who are trying to gain weight. There are people out there trying to eat more protein. So I'm curious as to what kind of changes you would make to something like this. All right, it's time for me to eat breakfast. So I will catch you guys for a lunchtime idea. I had a version of this bowl yesterday and it was out of this world and I can't wait to have it for lunch today. But I'm building off of some leftovers, so let me tell you what I've got in here. Two nights ago we had my gallo pinto recipe, which is just Costa Rican rice and beans. I topped it with a little salsa and I also made some handmade tortillas. And these are incredibly easy to make. I did a video on this, so I'll go ahead and link that in the description box down below. I also marinated and air fried some tofu until it was crispy, so I have a few ounces of tofu. I made some coleslaw, and the dressing I made out of my cashew mayonnaise is out of this world. And of course, as always, when I throw a bunch of things together, I never write anything down. So I have no idea what the proportions were, but I will work on some exact measurements and hopefully be able to share that with you guys. Um, I always have my non-starchy vegetables too. So last night we got Chinese takeout and I get steamed rice and veggies and they give me a ton of veggies so I usually eat them all the next day. So I chopped up some of those and then I've got my sauteed spinach and mushrooms that I had left. And even though I have some salsa, I still like a little bit of guacamole. So I'm gonna make a taco probably and then mix the rest of it together for a burrito bowl. Now, I prefer to have a little bit of protein rich food, especially with lunch and dinner. And being in perimenopause, I'm also trying to make sure I stay on top of getting some soy into my diet. So that's why I like the tofu. But uh, if I was doing something like the McDougal Maximum Weight Loss, I would probably lose anything processed. So no tortilla, anything high fat. So the tofu would go and the avocado would probably go as well. And to be honest, I wouldn't worry too much if you're going low fat about the the coleslaw with a little bit of that dressing in there because it's so minuscule i don't think that it's really going to matter all that much and it is a veggie so um if i was doing the super low fat thing i probably would maybe increase my non-starchy veggies a little bit and increase my starch as well but let me know if you guys were to build something like this for lunch what would you guys do differently or do you have any suggestions i'm curious to know Hey guys, so it's dinner time and you guys get to see my new glasses that I just picked up tonight. Um, so what we made is uh, a white chili mix and we just get these boxes of uh, this kit and it's really just a seasoning mix. And typically a white chili has chicken and white beans in it. So what I did uh, for Jim was I got the pre-cooked chicken strips that he's gonna put in his and I'm happy with the way it is with just the beans in it. I also added some peppers and onions to it to kind of boost the flavor and the vegetable content. And then I'm just gonna have it with a salad and I made some uh, cashew dressing that just has some herbs in it. So that's what, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna have. We also have some sourdough bread. I might have a couple pieces of that. So here's what I would suggest. If you are doing something that's more um, maximum weight loss, like you want to get rid of the processed stuff, I would say probably no to the bread. Uh, and I think everything else is pretty good, except for maybe you might want to not do a high fat dressing and maybe just do some vinegar or uh, something fat free on your salad. Uh, but I think in the chili mix itself, it's very low fat, just beans and vegetables in a chili mix. And it's very, very low in fat actually. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be having tonight. If you guys have any ideas about how you would make changes to this, please leave a comment down below. And yeah, we're gonna have dinner. All right, I'm gonna work on getting this video wrapped up because it's puppy playtime here tonight. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the ideas in this video. So the point is that there's just a lot of different ways to do this. And yeah, I hope I gave you some ideas on, you know, how to incorporate some of this into your life. And again, I really am curious to hear what you guys have to say about how you would change some things up or how you do <laughs> how you do your plant-based diet all right that's it for tonight 
I'm going to play with Raiden. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.